Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have another video that no one asked for, but you know, hey, that's like 95% of the videos on my channel anyway. Today I'm going to be doing my accessories collection. I literally brought the drawer out of my chest of drawers. And this is where I keep my beanies, my scarves, my hats, all my accessories. And I'm going to be pulling them out and telling you about them. Usually this drawer is actually very organised, but recently I was in a hurry looking for this beanie because I wanted to wear it to uni and... I couldn't find it and then I was messing up the entire drawer just to find this beanie. But yeah, I'm going to take you through this entire drawer and show you what is in here, all my accessories. Because I always wonder what accessories other people have because, I don't know, I always feel like people just have endless accessories. And I don't and I probably look like I have endless accessories to other people because they don't know my collection. So today I'm going to show you all my stuff. Anyway, I'm going to start off with this beanie here. This is the beanie that I messed up my entire drawer for. It's from ACU, my university. Um, and I bought it, I didn't buy this actually, I was gifted this um, one time when I went to ACU Games, which is um, like a meetup event with all the ACU campuses. Australian Catholic University has like a load of different campuses here in Australia and I think they have one in Rome too. Anyway, we all met up and had a big ACU event one time. Maxa is the North Sydney um, campus um, social kind of group, um, like I don't even know what to call it. It's like the society at my university on my campus. So yeah, this is a Maxa beanie. Um, I actually really like this beanie because it's like, it's got a good amount of slouch to it. I'm not really um, a huge beanie person until like post high school. And I just feel like this is a beanie that I'm comfortable to wear. It's cute enough. Um, and it's got my uni's colors, which are red. And then blue is the color of my um, campus's color. So like each campus is a different color. My campus is blue. Anyway, the next hat I have to show you was made for me by a friend. Thank you, Sarah. Um, Sarah made this beret for me. And I don't know exactly how I would wear a beret, but I feel like it would be something like this. I'd be in a French mood. I'd be eating a baguette um, in front of the Eiffel Tower. And I would be wearing this cute little red beret. Barrette. I'm not really sure how to say it. Um, but yeah, it's really well made because my friend Sarah made it for me. And she's talented. Um, and it's... It's really cute. I just love it. She got it. I think it was my birthday. I think she made this either Christmas or my birthday. I feel like it was my birthday. Um, but I've had this for a while now and I just love it. It's just really cute. I have a couple of berets and I'll show you them to you now actually. Um, but that's the first one I wanted to show you. The second one I've had forever, literally since I was a kid in my dress up kit when I would dress up as a painter because in my like childhood mind's eye, this is what a painter would wear. Um, this is a black one. I'm not really sure if I'm wearing it right. If I am not wearing it right, leave it in the comments below so I can fix it up. But yeah, I just think it's really cute. And um, this one's kind of like a stiffer felt material. If everything has like white hairs on it, I have a beagle and she sheds hair everywhere. So um, that's just little pieces of her to remind me that she exists. So don't worry about that. Um, but I'll show you actually later on how I get rid of that. But yeah. It has like this um, kind of band ribbon at the bottom and it's quite a stiff shape so it really holds its shape. It kind of has this fold in the top and I kind of like the fold. I just actually really like berets even though I don't really wear them as much as I would like to because I don't know I wish I wore my accessories more um, but I don't. But I like having them because they're cool. This is my last beret. I feel like I have a really good selection of beret colors like black, white and red. I feel like that's all the berets you could ever need. This beret was gifted to me by um, someone in high school for like my birthday in the year eight or something. And it originally had little diamondy crystals all over it, which made me never wear it. But then my mum, I told her I was never wearing it because it had these crystals on. She was like, why don't you just snip the crystals off? And so we snipped the crystals off. And now I think it's so classy and chic. I love it way more without the crystals on it now. And um, this is actually something I never would have bought because it's 80% Angora fur which makes it very soft like it's really beautifully um soft but it's never something I would have purchased because it's not really something I'm into purchasing but it was a gift so you know um it just is like this I'm not going to get rid of it now that I have it um and it was a gift and even though it wasn't a gift I would have chosen for myself it's really cute I would probably would have just chosen some hat like this and got it in white but this is very nice and now that I have it it has filled that white beret hole in my life. Um, imagine this at the snow, like a little snow bunny aesthetic. I'm putting it on really wrong every time, but like you get the vibe, like a white little hat. How cute. It's like fluffy. And imagine like a white outfit. It's the snow. Um, yeah, 
I actually really like this um, and I think I'm gonna wear it a lot more this winter especially now that it doesn't have little rhinestones on it okay this is a scarf that I've worn so much um, it's like a Burberry kind of print that I bought in Taiwan just at a market there um, at one of the um, like fashion districts it's this long I don't know if that gives you a idea of the size and I usually double it over and just like loop it around and wear it like through itself like this um, that's how I usually wear it. I actually really like this scarf. Um, when I wear it with my tan coat, it makes me feel like a Burberry baby. Um, I just really like the Burberry print, although I don't know if, I don't think I actually have anything Burberry. I don't know, it's just like a really good scarf. And considering how affordable it is, the quality is actually really good. I've washed this so many times. I've worn this to death, especially when I go traveling and it hasn't pilled up or anything. I find that usually in my day-to-day -day life here in Sydney, I don't really reach for scarves that often, but I wear scarves a lot when I travel, particularly when I go to Taiwan. Taiwan is where I probably go to most. It's not Australia. Um, I'm half Taiwanese, if you ever wondered. Um, and so yeah, when I go to Taiwan, I wear this all the time there and it's just a really practical scarf. It's my favorite scarf alongside my other favorite scarf. And this is my other favorite scarf. Now this was my sister's originally. And I think we thrifted this together years and years ago when we were kids. And I was always jealous because she thrifted this really cute scarf and I wanted it. And eventually when she was like older, she said she didn't care about this scarf anymore. And I said, I want this scarf because this scarf is the softest white scarf ever. It's not gonna, you won't be able to see, but it's just like, it's the softest material and I'm obsessed with it. It's originally from witchery, but it's probably like over 10 years ago because we thrifted this years and years ago and it was already in the thrift store. So it already had a life before it met us. But oh, imagine, it's a kind of a shorter scarf, but I don't care. Imagine this scarf with the white beret. Now that, that is an outfit. Um, just love this scarf so much. They're such like soft like things. They go together so nicely. I'm not sure what this is made of. But it just, it's really high quality because we've had this for like over 10 years now and it's held up really nicely. Just love this scarf. I was so jealous when my sister had this when we were kids and I was glad that she didn't want it anymore because it meant that I could take it. Um, let's show some random things. Um, I have these ears, this headband. I think it's really cute. Um, I bought this, I feel like it was on ASOS. Has my hair parting been wrong the whole time? How upsetting. I'm usually a middle part person but I've recently got a haircut and I've lost my part a bit. Kind of confused me. Anyway, um, I bought this off ASOS in like a kit with some other like furry accessories. Um, and I feel like this is one of the only remaining things I have out of that like Halloween outfit kit. But yeah, I think they're really cute. They give me like fluffy panda vibes, fluffy pom-pom aesthetic. I think it's really cute. Um, what else? I have this little beanie as well. I wear beanies so much when I go traveling and this is one that I wore so much um, when I went to Taiwan. I used to have this um, in grey as well with um, like a fake fur kind of, this kind of colour of pom-poms. But what happened to that was I put it through like a washing machine or a dryer or something in Taiwan and the pom-poms, um, they came out of the wash like matted into like balls and they were like not cute anymore. So I had to get rid of that beanie because it was really not it anymore. Um, but this one, you can probably tell it's like really old. Um, I've worn this so much. I love the little pom-poms. I think it's so cute. I bought this back um, when I feel like one of the Kardashians or like Kendall Jenner or someone wore a really cute like pom-pom beanie and it's just like, I was like, wow, I really need a beanie with two pom-poms. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So yeah, I got this from Supre um, and I love it. It's so cute. It's my black simple beanie. Something else I have is this from my dad. He bought this from Canada for me. That's the brand. I'm not sure how to say that. But yeah, it just looks like this and it's furry and it's pink. And he got this from Canada for me and it's ripped because I've had this since I was a kid. But when he brought this back, this was the ultimate gift because like it's so hot. You can um, put the um, little ear flap things up and like there's a little um, button here. So the elastic loops around the button or there used to be a button down here. It's popped off. This is really old. Both the buttons have popped off or you could have um, tied them down and like protected your ears more. It's just so cute. You can tie it at the bottom. I should fix it up and like sew the little button back together here. Um, but yeah, it's still really soft. Thanks dad. My dad bought butter menthols for me. Um, and yeah, it's really soft and has like this fur on the inside and I feel so luxe when I wear it. Um, and I still love it very much. I need to have a snow trip 
when Corona goes away so that I can feel cute in my little snow outfit and this. Because that's my, that's my fantasy in my mind. Um, what's the next thing I'll show you? I'll show you some more beanies. I have like fun beanies. Um, these are some leg warmers. You won't be able to tell, but... Okay, it's just a singular leg warmer. There should be two. Oh, there are still two. Oh my gosh, I thought I'd gotten rid of my leg warmers because I saw recently that leg warmers were like becoming trendy again on those like Pinterest fairy girls. And I was like, oh, I wish I still had mine. But I do still have mine. Cute, cute. And this in the snow with all my like white snow outfit. Fantasy. Okay, this is another beanie. And this is actually a children's beanie, so it's tiny. I got it from Cotton On Kids. And I really liked the primary colours of it. I just felt like it was really, like, nostalgic looking. If I was a child, if I was on Sesame Street, you know, this is the kind of, like, style clothing I would wear. It's kind of small on my head, which isn't my favourite thing. But I really like this beanie because I really like the colours of it. And I just think it's, like, a really cute, like, retro, childish looking beanie. And I think it's cute. Um, well, okay. I have some really fun things. These are my Elmo set. So this... I all bought from the Peter Alexander Sesame Street collection they came out with a couple of years ago. And when that collection dropped, I was obsessed. So they came out with a beanie, which looks like this. I actually wore this so much the year it came out. I don't wear it as much now because it's like kind of intense and I have other beanies that I feel like are more wearable, but love this still. Oh, I have leg warmers in black too. This is the same leg warmers as the white ones, um, but in black. I bought these in Taiwan. They have like a button detail and they're just plain um, knitted. But yeah, these are my Elmo hat and mittens to match. And the mittens are really cute. But, you know, I don't really live in that cold of a climate that I wear these that often anymore. Um, but when I first bought them, thumbnail. Um, I just thought they were really cute. I love these. They're just, they're so fun. Um, I don't wear them as much, but, you know, this is a good thing to have. Yeah. Um, okay, the next thing I have to show you guys, let's get into some hats. Oh, everything's falling on the floor. Oh well, I was going to rearrange this drawer after anyway, so I guess it's not a big of a deal. Actually, I have two more headbands to show you. This one is a fluffy pair of earmuffs, and I really want to get these in white. I really want some white earmuffs. They're adjustable, so like if I pull them down, they're going to be longer, but I have like a... I have a big head, but these fit better on the shorter version in my opinion. I don't know, maybe my ears are high up on my head or something. I don't know, but these are really cute. They keep your ears warm when it's a cold time. Um, and I think that I need them in white because I feel like white will be like more snow bunny aesthetic. Like they'll pop more against my dark hair. Um, but I think the black is cute too. I bought these from like, um, I think it was Daiso in Taiwan and it's very, very soft. Like the fur on these is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, and this is the last headband. I don't wear this as much, but I think it's like cute and gives me like, it reminds me of 2014 when I bought it. It's just got a bow on it. It's very like, child me but you know maybe one day i'll feel like i really need it um maybe i'm just a hoarder this piece of fabric i feel like this came with my country road bag um it's really old it's the little strap that ties the country road bag together when you buy it it's really random um also in this drawer i have this is so random i have a mouth guard there's no mouth guard in it so that's useless and i should get rid of that um, when I played hockey at school, um, I have a Star Wars patch in case I decide I need to dazzle something with a Star Wars patch and I have these. These are from Shoal and you stick these on the back of your shoes and they kind of protect um, your heel, the back of your shoe from rubbing on the shoe. Um, and then I have this headband here, which is so cute and it gives me like soft girl Pinterest vibes. It's just a little um, elastic headband and I love it. It's in this like velvet brown colour, which is so trendy right now. And I've had this since I was a kid and I just think... It's so cute. I love this thing so much. Um, I need to wear it out more. I really love this headband. I think it's really flattering, really cute. Um, okay, yeah, let's show you some hats. This is a hat that you saw me thrift. It's from um, Billabong. This is Billabong Australia, and then it has this little um, like Billabong logo here on the side, and I feel like it's really versatile in the summer because it looks good at the beach. It looks good if I'm playing golf, which I never do, but I could. Um, it looks good if I'm a surfer girl. It looks good if I'm playing tennis. It's just a really versatile, cute little visor. And then I like that my hair doesn't get like hat hair because I can just like stick it over. Um, and it protects my face, which is very important because I don't want to get sunburned in the summer because sunny times. Um, but when I wear this, my scalp does get burnt sometimes. So got to slip, slop, slap, put sunscreen on my parting line, which is kind of gross. But you know what's more gross than putting sunscreen on your center part or your side part? I don't know. What's more gross? 
is when your scalp peels because it's burnt and it's disgusting and you've burnt it and it's all red and sore and it all falls out. That's worse. So wear sunscreen. Anyway, the next hat I have to show you is from Australian Catholic Uni, my uni. Um, this one has a little pin on it actually. So I've got a MacKillop pin, as I mentioned, blue and MacKillop. That's the like, um, North Sydney um, Student Association Society kind of thing on my campus. So yeah, I have a little pin from that and it just says ACU on the front. I can't remember when I got this. I think it was on a market day years ago. I have quite a fair bit of Australian Catholic Uni merch because um, I go to like every single market day and every single open day because I represent my cheer team there for the uni. I cheer for my uni and so um, we always hang out at market days and open days and stuff and then I end up with stuff like this but I actually like this and then I wear it to market days and open days because I feel like I can be sun safe while representing my uni and I really like this red cap it's practical um everything's falling on the floor now this is a cap I bought in Tasmania with my family we were on a trip and I just think it's like kind of cute it's not everyone's taste but I feel like I feel like kind of cute when I wear it I like that it's a flat cap it's not like a um, dome top cap the way the other ones are but it's not um too different I don't know I just think it's really cute you can wear this with a ponytail too just keeps your sun safe um and I feel like it's a really flattering size on my head the shape of this I just I feel cute in it um it's from the brand Stanton and um that's the style there I kind of at one point was really obsessed with this hat and ugh, I can't get it to focus the style number is ST231 Anyway, it's 100% cotton. At one point, I wanted to buy this hat in every single colour they had. In, like, navy, in black, in a load of different colours. But um, I just stuck with the khaki, and I feel like the khaki's a good choice. Maybe one day in the future, if I have a hat craving for these hats again, I'll get them in other colours. But I just feel really cute. Let's wear it sideways. I never wear hats sideways. That's uncomfortable for me. Like, I just feel like that's not who I am. I'm a front waist cap person. Because, you know, that's, that's just my vibe more. Um, there's some random stuff in here as well. I have this and this now these two are the things I keep in this top drawer this is the top drawer my set of drawers um and they help me keep my closet cute so this thing is covered in fluff but what it is is it's like a one of these it's like a lint roller so it's a sticky lint roller and it helps me take fluff off my clothes I'm mostly dog hair um it's like refillable so you can like take this off oh I'm gonna do it wrong oh yeah you can take it off and you can put a new one on and you can keep using this thing and keep taking off your dog hair and fluff and this one is a D pillar. I got this from my boyfriend's mum for my 21st birthday um, as a for fun gift. And oh, it's one of my favourite gifts I got because it's just so satisfying. There's a little cover on it and you just take it off and then you can... It doesn't hurt me, obviously, but it takes the pills off clothes and it just makes your clothes look new again. And these two things keep my clothes looking fresh and cute and definitely recommend both of these things to everybody because it just keeps my clothes in tip-top condition. This and steaming my clothes. I steam my clothes when I iron them. I just feel like it makes a difference. Okay, those can go back in here. I have two more hats to show you actually. And these are big sun hats from my childhood. These are like kids hats, but I still wear them because, you know. So this one is my rainbow hat. It looks like this. Um, it's actually really cute. I could be a Pinterest, I feel like a Pinterest girl that's like a happy, sunny kind of girl would wear this. Maybe I should whip it out more. It's very good for in the sun. Um, even though it has like little holes through it, the holes don't let too much sun through. Um, it's quite faded. This is the top and this is the underneath. And as you can see, the underneath is quite bright, but I'll always wear it this way up just because, I don't know, this, it's the underneath. I just can't wear it inside out for some reason. So yeah, it's very faded because I've worn it through many happy Australian summers and it's so cute. It reminds me of my childhood. My sister had the same hat, except her outside color was green where mine is orange so I always knew instantly that hers was hers and mine was mine and this is my one and I love it and this other hat is another hat that I wore a ton when I was a kid and my sister had the same one and it is my yellow sun hat it's just a big floppy hat it's not that fashionable but I don't care love it I've had this since I was a kid um and I feel really nostalgic when I wear it and I can't get rid of it because I hold on to these kind of things oh well don't tell me to get rid of it. I really like that hat. Okay, so I have some things from Lorna Jane. These are like active wear things. I have these little wrist sweatbands, but I never wear these except for when I'm feeling like for fun, like for show. I don't wear these for practical purposes. I just wear these to be cute when I'm wearing an all pink workout outfit and I just want to look like extra like. But yeah, they're just plain pink. Um, they have this little pocket in here if you want to 
I don't know what you'd put in there, but there's a little pocket up in there if you want to do something in that. And they have the little um, three swooshes, the little Move, Nourish, Believe logo thing. And that's in like a 3M material. So if you take a flash photo, this like lights up back. But yeah, those are really cute. And then I also have this headband, which is really cute. I love this headband. Um, and it just has um, the little logo at the front in that 3M material again that lights up when you take a flash photo. And the inside of this has really, really good quality, decent stickiness. Like this is like the inside of like a strapless bra or a strapless bra. Uh, strapless dress they have this material and I love it it's just really good and practical and um stays on your head really well and I actually love this headband and I should wear it more I'm just not a headband person when I'm working out as much but I should be because this is really cool um I love having like all matching pink workout stuff I'm just I love to be like a pink workout Barbie also in here I have this um never give up headband that I never wear but it's a little move nourish believe little Lorna Jane headband as well. All my workout stuff is mostly Lorna Jane because I think it's cute. This is a fanny pack that I used to wear when I went running, which I don't do many runs anymore because mostly my workouts are just cheerleading now. And my dog who I used to run with is not around anymore. So my new dog, she's not as much of a runner, I feel. She's not as fun to run with. She's a bit naughty. But yes, this is my fanny pack. It says um, Lorna Jane, Lorna Jane just down the side here. I don't know if you can see that, just in the strap um it has a really decent clip buckle can i unclip it yeah it's just like a really like intense snap buckle and it's adjustable and there's this little elastic -y thing so that you can like make this not like flap the whole time that you're running which is really good i like that um and yeah it just says move nourish believe Lorna jane when i say move nourish believe i just mean these little things that's what they're supposed to represent isn't it anyway it's padded on the inside so it's comfortable when you're running and there's this um, zippered compartment at the front here and there's also this if you want to like hang something. I don't usually because I feel like it boing 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 it like bumps as I'm running but it's there if you want to hang something like a water bottle or something from there. Also, um, I really like the way that this zip has these little um, swoosh details as well. I just love the attention to detail. Also around the zip, this um, like grey stripe, that's also in that 3M material that lights up when you take a flash photo. Um, just the attention to detail, it's cute. Metal zip, really good quality, and inside there's all these compartments. So there's a larger one here which fits like a phone generally, and then there's another larger one here which isn't as large I feel, um, but that could probably fit a phone as well. And there's also a little hole up the top so if you want to stick your phone in there, your headphones can like peek out that hole. I'm a headphones person, I don't have AirPods. But this is from a time that AirPods weren't a thing anyway. Also, it's kind of like a mesh polka dotty detail at the front, not because I wanted polka dots on it, just because it's like, I feel like it's supposed to be more breathable or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's also in here. Um, also something random in this drawer is I have this soap. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is the Emily soap. My name is Emily. The soap's name is Emily. I've never used it. Um, it's made in Australia and it's a fig, um, apple and cream vegetable oil soap. And it smells like figs, apple and cream. It's beautiful. Um, I would love to stalk down, um, this soap again and buy another one because this soap smells amazing. I've never opened it because it's too special because it's got my name on it, but it's all battered on the sides because I've had it for ages and I just leave it in the drawer and it makes this drawer smell really, really nice and it's very, very special. So I'd never use that soap because it's, it's too special to use. Um, I like to keep a lot of my like smelling lush bath bombs and like stuff like that in my, excuse me, in my drawers. Um, and it makes my drawers in my like cupboard smell nice. Um, okay. So I have some scarves to show you. And some of these I wear more than others, but I'll just show them all to you anyway. Also, I have this random patch that says join the resistance. It's Star Wars themed. So you can tell I really like Star Wars. I have a little mini sewing kit, which I don't use as much because I forgot it was in here. But sometimes I do sew my own clothes back together and so good to have. And I have this fluffy bunny tail because this fell off my fluffy bunny slippers and I put the tail in this drawer and I should use this sewing kit to sew it back on. So maybe I'll do that later this evening. Here I have a pile of scarves and they're all different and I'm going to take you through them all. This one is a polka dot silk scarf. It's really gorgeous and I love it. Um, I think I bought this at a general pants warehouse sale um, and it was on clearance or something and it was probably like $2 or a dollar or something. And I love it. It's very large and silky. You could probably wear this as a top um, and yeah, I'll open it up to show you the size. It's like a really nice large handkerchief size. I just feel like it's a really classic polka dot scarf. It's like a satiny polyester material. Um, next I have some like handkerchiefs from my childhood that I don't use anymore, but they're really cute. This one is a Totoro one. Um, it's so cute. It has Totoro on it and then all the little, um, 
like mushrooms and stuff. I just think it's really cute. As you can tell, this drawer is like everything that's not a t-shirt or a pair of jeans. This drawer is so random. This I got from Tokyo Disneyland. As you can tell, both of these napkins came from um, my family's trip to Japan when I was a kid. Um, this was from Tokyo Disneyland and there's my princess handkerchief. Now I was really sad with this handkerchief that Ariel's not on it. Ariel is my favorite Disney princess of all time and she's not on this scarf and that made me kind of sad, but I do like the colors that they put on this scarf. Like Ariel, she might've stood out too much with her red hair. Whereas these guys, they're all kind of cohesive. They're all like pink, blue yellow, I don't know, kind of like they all go. So I understand, but I wish Ariel was on there. This is so random. When I did ballet when I was a kid, this was the little scarf that I would do this with. So yeah, that's from that era and I have it because it's a good memory. My dad, I think it was my dad's work that gave me this. It's really beautiful. I think it was my dad's work. It's stained a little bit up here, but it's just this really beautiful um, cotton napkin with red cherry blossom um, details all over it. And it's also got a red lining. It's really beautiful. I love this thing. It's just stunning. Um, okay, I have some more napkins. This one is one that I embroidered um, with my grandma's sister. She's good at embroidery and she taught me to embroider. And so we did some embroidery together and don't judge because they're not really that good. But um, I did this little flower. I'm sure she did this. I don't think I would have been good enough to do this, but yeah, that's that. And then there's this other flower over there. But yeah, that's some embroidery that we did together. That's actually a really nice memory. Um, and then I op shopped this. I've got this from a thrift store and op shop. Um, it's a polyester like translucent scarf and I thought um the pattern on it was really like whimsical and pretty um and I thought that if I layered it over itself enough times that I could wear it as a tie around tube top like that and I could tie it at the back and it'd be a cute little tie around scarf top so yeah I got that and then the scarf top thing became a trend and I was like now I can wear this as the trend wait as be trend as part of the trend but when the trend disappears, I'll still be interested in wearing that as a top anyway, because I like it like that. Um, then I have a couple of bandeaus, bandanas, like this. They're not bandeaus, they're just bandanas. Um, so I have a red one. When I was in high school, we'd have bandana day at school. And so like people would go around, sell bandanas, and it'd be to support um, the charity canteen, which is, um, it's for young people with cancer. And so, yeah, I have lots of these. I have the red one, the darker red one, I have a blue one and I have a black one. Let's open this up. I think this blue one wasn't from Canteen though. This one looks different because it doesn't say Canteen in the middle. It's kind of cool with pattern though. Um, and this is the black one. But yeah, you just buy a bandana at school and the proceeds would go to um, Canteen, which is a charity that um, is for young people in Australia with cancer. This is the last... Um, scarf I have to show you. Sorry if scarves are boring. I don't know. This is a fun one. This is from Lush. Lush has like um their rewrap kind of things. So you can buy wraps at scar and scarves and stuff at Lush and you can use them to wrap like the body products. And then once you get home you can use the actual um, packaging, which is a scarf, as a scarf. And so this one is a Christmas one. It has Christmas elves all over it. Um, I like wearing this as like a head scarf at Christmas time. Um, like this, like a little I don't know, that doesn't look that cute, but like, it's cute. At Christmas time with my little Christmas headscarf on, I feel festive, it's cute. Um, but yeah, okay, I have one last item in this really random drawer and this is so sentimental. This is my like, most, possibly my most special outfit. Controversial, I know. But this is from when I was hmm, maybe five years old. My best childhood friend, Maddie, knew that I loved the Little Mermaid, Ariel. My favorite color was yellow. And she bought me, this is so small, I could never fit this now. Or maybe I could, I don't know. Um, but I wouldn't try it. This is, what size is this? This is, it's so old that like so much of it's worn off. This is a children's size six. Um, it says Disney princess on the inside. And it says Ariel on the front and there's Ariel and she looks so cute. And it's a little tank top. And this was my favorite outfit when I was a kid. I wore this all the time. It's the best outfit I've ever seen to this day. Stunning, love the yellow, love the little straps. Love the little, there's this little flower detail at the side. It's like a little bow. Love it. And um, as you can tell, Ariel is really worn because she was my favorite. This could be a crop top for me now, but it's too special. I, I can't wear it just like that. Um, and this is the skirt, oh my gosh. 
This has got like a little matching flower at the front. This is so sentimental. I don't take this out very often because it's so special. Um, it's kind of got like, I don't want to say, it's like moldy from time. Maybe I should chuck it in the wash and see if the mold comes out. I've had this for like, since I was five or six and I'm 21 now. So like, this is very old, more than 10 years old, maybe 15 years old. That's a long time. Um, but it's just a little skirt that went with it. The skirt was so cute. It has all these flowers on it and they were all warm, happy colors. Um, it wasn't a skirt or anything. It was just like straight up a skirt. And, um, this was my favorite outfit when I was a kid. And so like, I don't have clothing from when I was a child anymore, obviously, because it's not my size anymore. But this, even though I don't fit it, this will be with me forever because this was my favorite outfit. Maddie, if you watch my YouTube videos, I feel like she doesn't, but if you do, this, I'm, st I'm still over the moon about this outfit that you gave me when we were like six. Thanks to your mom for finding it as well. I'm sure your mom would have found it because we were six, but love this outfit so much. Okay, that was a really random video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you're welcome. If you didn't, I'm sorry that you just sat through three minutes and 51 seconds of stuff you didn't want to see. You probably should have clicked out. Um, if you did like it though, please give it a thumbs up. Comment and thing you'd like to see from me in future down below. I will do some more relevant closet tour areas. So I'll do a jackets tour later on. I'm just like putting it off because jackets are really heavy. I'll get around to it though, don't worry. And I'll also be doing a bikini collection tour, um, like trying on all my bikinis. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to see me rant about other stuff. If you want to see more content from me. Um, I upload very frequently, like almost every day. So there's a lot coming. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.